Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Google Sheets and more specifically how that integrates with Zapier and AI. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, welcome again as we are diving into all 5,000 apps found on the Zapier integration list. Today's video is more specifically going to be looking at the Google Sheets integration. I know this is a very popular integration found on Zapier as, you know, we want to mitigate the amount of manual inputting that we do when it comes to Zapier. But what's great is we can even excel that even further with using AI. Let's go ahead and rename this to Google Sheets integration. From here, I'm not actually going to switch to the new editor. We're going to do the visual editor. If you're not familiar with that, check out the previous video on this channel as we go over into different use cases and why this is beneficial. Although what we're going to do in today's video is I'm going to essentially create a trigger of when a email comes in from a potential client, we're going to go ahead and format that data correctly, use AI to get different type of conclusions, and then push that all over to a spreadsheet that we've already created here at Web Cafe AI. All right, so now that we know the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start off by building out our spreadsheet here. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to do an email column. Let's go with a name column. Let's go with a location column. And let's go ahead with analysis or we're going to go ahead with conclusion column. So what we the purpose of each column, obviously, is we want to input data specific to what we want. And we're going to go ahead and actually rephrase this to summarize. And then we're going to have this to GBT output. So the idea here essentially is this. Let's go ahead and format this to make this look a little bit better. Let's add a little bit of, you know, column structuring. And what we're going to do here is this. We're going to have it so that when the email comes in, we can automatically format the data to get the email, the name, the location, summarization of the email, and a GPT analysis of the output. Maybe even predefine that analysis so we can have some context of cost and time frame when it comes to that specific inquiry coming from that individual. Uh, the email we're going to be dealing with today is going to be one I just sent from our main web cafe account. We sent it to our courses account here. And as you see here, we got the subject line of interested in AI automation. I was looking through your website. I want to learn my AI automation services. I run a restaurant and was interested in social media services to get more organic traffic. We are located in New York, New York. We're going to take this pseudo email here and we're going to format it correctly. Go ahead and begin. So first step here is we're going to go ahead and click our trigger and then we're going to do our trigger is Gmail. And we're going to go ahead and put my face down here. You might be asking yourself, Corbin, why do you keep putting your face kind of where the action's happening? That's because we're currently formatting these into shorts. It just helps it make look a lot better when you can see the actions that are occurring and my face in it. So from here, we're going to go ahead and do new email. We can make this more specific and have it so it's identified so we know what's the difference between a spam email and acquire email. Check out our Gmail video when it comes to that as we do more specific on you know finding the correct email in that context. For now, we're just going to do new email as that is not the purpose of this tutorial. We're going to choose our courses account here. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And then the label or inbox or essentially where it's searching for it is going to be an inbox. And then we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And we're going to go ahead and test it. And then essentially we should be able to get that email that we just created and find it here. So as you see here, as you look below me, we have the hello. I was looking through your website. I wanted to learn more AI automation services and it grabs basically all the data that would be necessary for procedure from here. So what we're going to do from now is we're going to go ahead and add another step here. Our step here is going to be a chat GBT block, so chat GBT, and we're going to choose an event of conversation. Now that we are in conversation here, we're going to go ahead and switch back to the classic editor as this is going to allow a better, a little bit better of the structuring here. We're going to go ahead and say based off this email we received at our AI automation agency, we use semicolon parentheses and we're going to go ahead and put the body in here. Um, actually, let's make this a little bit more structured. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do subject, semicolon parentheses, and then we're going to do body. It's so able to understand what do you mean by body in this context. And then we're going to do parentheses again. It has the body plane. Let's go ahead and put the subject line here. We're going to give GBT the most data that we have in regards to this email. So it performs the best. From here, we're going to go ahead and say generate the following uh, data points semicolon again and then let's jump back over to the excel sheet 
data points we're going to want to generate are going to be name, location, summarize, and GPT output. Actually, in this specific context, we're just going to be looking for name, location, and then we can proceed with the other options a little later. So let's go ahead and jump back over here. And we're going to do name. And then we're going to do location. And then we're going to put parentheses here, say if applicable. Sometimes people don't obviously put in their location when it comes to email. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they can find the data through scraping the footer of the email. From here, we're going to go ahead and upper model to GBT4 as we're searching data rather than summarizing or congesting data. Then we could have a memory key here such as EM begin, continue. The purpose of a memory key is to ensure that every output is consistent. So let's go ahead and begin there. We're going to go ahead and generate that. Perfect. So as you see here, we got the name formatted correctly. We got the location formatted correctly. Let's go ahead and ensure that when the data comes out, we are formatting it so we can go to each Excel block. So we're going to go ahead and do a formatter block here. We're going to do text and continue. We're going to do a function of split text here. Our input is going to be the GPT that we just got there. And we're gonna go ahead and do assistant response message. The separator is going to basically be how this is structured here, but we're gonna use a different function called new line. Essentially that what that does is it every new line is gonna create a new data point. And then in order to ensure that, we're gonna choose a segment index of all as separate fields. This is gonna allow us to basically separate the data so we don't have to make two different chat GPT blocks to achieve the same functionality. And as you see here, we got name, we got location. I could rephrase that original prompt in order to ensure that it just shows Sam Thompson and New York, New York. For purposes of tutorial, that is not necessary. From here, we're gonna go ahead and add another chat GPT block here. And the purpose of this chat GPT block is gonna be a summary block. So we're gonna do um, an event of conversation continue continue again and then we're going to go ahead and say based on this email do semicolon parentheses and we're going to do uh body plane we're going to say generate a one to two sentence summary we could add a context block here saying hey we are web cafe ai aai automation service agency in order to ensure that we don't have any overlap but for now, it wouldn't be necessary. Let's just go ahead and summarize this. We're going to use 3.5 because of the fact that this is going to be a very grunt oriented task. And here we go. We got the summary. So the email is from Sam Thompson, who runs a restaurant in New York and is interested in learning more about Web Cafe AA social media services to increase organic traffic. Perfect. From here, let's go ahead and add another ChatGPT block here. And we're going to do a ChatGPT block for the purposes of analysis now. So we're going to do conversation. Continue, continue. And we're going to go ahead and say based off this email, obviously we can provide a, another context block if we choose to do so, but we're not going to need to do so. And then we're going to go ahead and grab body plan again. And what we're going to do here actually is this. We're going to do what we did a little earlier. We're going to give a little bit more context so that we get the best output possible as basically we don't want to infer too much. We'll do a subject line that we just provided there. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and give a little bit of context here. So we're gonna say context, typical. Uh, so essentially the way you'd wanna approach this is you would wanna give a little bit more context when it comes to money or time involved. For the purpose of this, I could in theory be like, hey, when it comes to data input, AI automation, it takes X, Y, Z amount of time to implement. When it comes to social media, it takes X, Y, Z amount of time. When it comes to X, you know, whatever it is, you know, you'd input it here, right? Since we're just dealing with social media, for the purpose of the story, I'm just going to say typically when we do AI automation for social media, it takes us around one to two weeks to implement. And then we're going to say essentially this generate analysis for web cafe AI on the timing it would take to solve the customer's problem and any other relevant information. I'm gonna let GBT kind of figure that out for me. But just for your reference and to explain again, essentially the context block is where you're gonna be adding, you know, stuff like money, time, associated with different services you do and anything of that regards. Obviously you can do context blocks for anything you want for maybe this part of the spreadsheet, but from here, 
we're going to go ahead and upper model to GBT4 as we're dealing with more comprehension. And then we're going to go ahead and continue here and we're going to test this action. All right, so as you see here, we got the analysis based on the email received from Sam Thompson, who runs a restaurant in New York, New York. Here are the outlining factors. We got considering our typical implementation team takes one to two weeks for AI automation and social media. Here are the estimated timelines and relevant information for the project. Now, before you give more context on how to output this correctly, but as you see here, GBT took a leap of faith and gave project analysis for two to three days, AI automation implementation for five to 10 days, and then training and monitoring for three to five days and then gave us a ton of analysis when it comes to our specific needs and niche for what we're doing here. All right, perfect. So now that we have all the information required, let's go ahead and push this forward to our Google Sheets. Google Sheets. And then we're gonna go ahead and do an event. We're gonna do the event of create multiple spreadsheet rows. We're gonna continue here and we're gonna choose our courses account. And then we're gonna hit continue again. And then from here, we're going to identify where this spreadsheet can be found. So you just simply click this and then we named our sheet zap and AI sheet. And then our worksheet is going to just be sheet one as we just kept the default amount. All right. So once you pull up the correct spreadsheet, you'll be able to get all the input values that we've identified earlier in this tutorial. And just for your reference, so you understand how this works, I'm going to just put in test one here and I'm going to go ahead and put just copy this through. So I'm going to copy this paste, 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 continue. And then I'm gonna test this action and jumping over to the spreadsheet it will pop up here. Boom, it went ahead and popped up here. So now let's go ahead and input our relevant data here. So for the email, we're gonna simply go to Gmail and we'll do the from email, which is gonna be our Webrista. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the name. The name was what we formatted earlier, which is gonna be Sam Thompson. We're gonna grab the location and then that's only if it was applicable. So for this context, it was. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our summarization, which came over here. And then finally, we're going to grab our last block that we created there, which was the GBT analysis. And from here, we're going to go ahead and do that. Then we're going to hit continue and retest this action. All right, perfect. So it works. As you see here, it doesn't overlap the original column or sorry, the row that we created earlier of test one. And then it inputs every single value. So we got the email, the name, the location the specific summary so if i double click this and you see the whole summary and then the analysis obviously this is a lot of information i could probably reform that this excel sheet to look a little bit better but as you see it has done what we wanted and it has provided all the data associated with that email and input it into our google sheets as always you can find the zap down below in the description and you can implement that directly into your project for free if you feel like you learned something make sure to like the video it's completely free and it helps us here at web cafe ai now if you're interested in learning more about ai automation specifically when it comes to zapier and chat gbt check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on the zapier platform and showing you how to leverage ai with every single one but without further ado i'll see you in the next video Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.